Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my hardware series, and today we're going to be talking about the Wii U. Okay, so here's the Wii U, and yes, there is a lot of stuff on the table, so I'm going to be taking things off as I talk about them. Uh, first up is the Wii sensor bar. Um, I think the normal Wii came with one that had silver across the top. This one, I think, came with my Wii U um, and stuff. I mean, it's it, it's mainly just used for, for uh, Wii games and stuff like that. Some Wii U games make use of it. Now, underneath it, this thing's branded Wii U, but is definitely not made by Nintendo. I believe, yeah, this is made by Power A, um, and it's it's really good. I love this thing. It's adjustable. Um, it does everything I want it to do. However, it only comes like this. It does not have any power adapter with it whatsoever. So I went to Walmart and picked up one of these guys, the power line, and calculated it to six volts because that's how many double uh, A's run it is to six volts. Um, so that's four double A's, yeah. Uh, and then it just fits the plug just fine. Um, I don't leave this constantly on just because uh, I have it hooked up to a switch that actually uh, turns it off. But this is great. It's a good investment. Um, you know, uh, I would highly suggest one. So that gives us a little bit more room on the table. Uh, now I like keeping a constant theme with my with my systems, so it's black, and I want all of my Wii motes to be black. And since this took a good advantage of the Wii Motion Plus side of things, I got everything as Wii Motion Plus. And this thing's a little bit on the dusty side, um, but yeah, I I got everything Wii Motion Plus with this. Um, now, again, still following the same controller theme, black because it matches the system and it just it just looks nice in, in my collection. I really like it. Now here is something that's really, really, really good. And wow, this one is dirty just because it's such a fingerprint magnet. Um, this is the Wii U Pro Controller. Uh, there are knockoffs out there. Do not buy the knockoffs. Buy the official Wii U Pro Controller. Now this thing on the front is actually uh, a charger that uh, is by Nyko and it's a really good charger. It uses magnets and holds it in really well. That way you don't have to fiddle with this port too much. Um, and it works really well. Unfortunately, these charger things, um, just the, the whole unit and everything, the part where magnetics uses magnets to hold to and stuff and charges, those are almost impossible to find now. Um, you can get, you guys can go over to uh, Roxoid's uh, channel and talk to Gary about how, um, you know, how he, how rock solid productions, they, that he cannot find one of these things to save his life. If you find the, the Nyko Wii U pro controller charger, get one. Uh, these are really good. Um, I actually have an adapter that lets me play with one of these on my switch and I still like it. Um, it's very unique. It has both analogs up here. It has all the normal buttons and stuff like that that you would normally see. Um, you know, the only difference between this and the, and the uh, Switch Pro Controller is that this analog is here and these buttons are up where that analog is. Other than that, this is an excellent, excellent controller. Um, I even use it for my Raspberry Pi. I have two controllers that are completely dedicated to the Raspberry Pi that are Wii U Pro Controllers. Um, and we've got this little piece of plastic, and it's mainly just so that you can have a place to rest the Wii U gamepad. Well, that leaves the question of what was the thing sitting on beforehand? This is the Wii U pad charging station. Um, you know, it uses its own little power supply, which let me get you some of the information on that. Uh, you know. So it is proprietary. It has this connector right here. It looks like 
some variation of one of the Game Boy chargers, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But it plugs in right down there, and then it sits down, and it uses this little catapult lever to push up the two copper contacts, and it charges the Wii U gamepad. Now, the Wii U gamepad is absolutely essential to having a functioning Wii U. If you don't have this, your Wii U will not work. Now you can repair, like, as in pair them to the system, any gamepad to any system, essentially. Um, so if you want to find, like, a Zelda gamepad and whatever and pair it to a white system, you can do that. Um, now there, there is a difference between the black and the white system. Uh, I went with the black system, one, because of aesthetics, and two, because it has an extra 32 gigs of storage built into the system itself. Uh, and some people think that, oh, well, I can just add storage here into this SD card slot. No. That is only for the Wii emulation side of the Wii U. Um, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't work. You can, however, plug in an external hard drive and get a lot more storage out of it just like you do with like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or something like that. I believe I believe the Wii U was the first one of the earliest systems to allow you to plug in and make use of a external uh, hard drive. The PlayStation 3 let you plug in a hard drive externally and let you back things up but it was not like a live play area kind of thing where you stored like any installs or any uh, downloadable content or anything like that. Now here's the Wii U. Now it does come with like some uh, holders that can let you like mount it vertically this way. I again I don't suggest doing that. I always like having my disc platters being uh, you know level like this as opposed to vertical. Um, you know, I really like systems to be horizontal. Now, here's, you know, some fan intakes and stuff. Uh, another fan intake that looks like it probably needs to be cleaned. And then there's the fan exit. Now, you'll notice that uh, this system still has an AV out. I don't use it. I usually just stick with the HDMI. And then there's the two USBs. And there were two in the front as well. Here's the sensor bar plug and the AC adapter plug. Um, this system also has a CMOS battery in it, and it's located right here. Sometimes these systems start freaking out, and you can't figure out what's going on, what's going wrong, and it just needs you to take the screw out, pull it, and then put a new CMOS battery in. Um, the sync button is conveniently on the outside of the system now, so that you don't have to like flip this thing down and get to it. You can also use storage here and hook up various other things like uh, charge cables for the Wii U Pro controller, stuff like that. And last but not least, one of the other things that is an absolute must for having a Wii U is the Wii U power supply. And here's some of the information. Um, you can pause the video and get as much of that information as you need. But honestly, I would just uh, I would just pony up the money and get an official Nintendo Wii U uh, power supply. Now, that's pretty much everything you guys need to know or have. Um, one of the one of the fun things to have though is if you can get your hands on an extra power supply for the Wii U gamepad, one of the things you can do is you can, let me unplug it back here, there are ports at the top. Also there's an IR emitter right there so if you set up your television correctly you can control your TV with the Wii U gamepad. But as you see, you can do an AC adapter right there and just take this and plug it right in. That way, you know, these things don't have a great battery life. I think it's like maybe four hours uh, if it's in good shape. And having that and being able to basically plug it in and not have to worry about anything whatsoever is a great thing to have. And here's the back of it. Now, I did modify mine. Um, and I put like a, a camera mounting thread because, oh yeah, and there's the sync button, but because I have a gooseneck that comes all the way around and has a camera that points right at this screen. 
for game capture. Um, you guys probably have seen some, or probably will see some videos in the future of that so that, um, you know, I can capture both what's coming onto the gamepad and what's on the screen as well. But that's about it, guys. Um, you know, again, make sure, you, you know, you, you can always buy a replacement sensor bar. In fact, I still, you know, highly suggest getting uh, this one by Power A. Um, you can get remotes, you can get, you know, game pads and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, but the things that you cannot go without is one, the base system, the power supply, the charger for the Wii U gamepad, and the Wii U gamepad itself. Everything else you can kind of live without, but you've got to have those things. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.